I'm sure you've heard of the Bowser Pinto plan, also known as the Secure DC Act that just passed unanimously. And when I tell you that this is literal fascism, I'm not lying. We'll get into how this really just criminalizes poverty and blackness, but first let's get into some of the components of the bill that are extremely worrying. Firstly, face coverings are now criminalized. Let's say you're a woman wearing a hijab or someone that cares about COVID still and is just wearing a mask. You're suspected of committing a crime? Guess what? That's another offense. Do you have a friend you like to hang out with? Well, guess what? That's criminalized. Basically, the DC police can say that anywhere within a 2,000 diameter range is now a drug-free zone. And if they see two or more people or anyone doing anything that they see as suspicious, you can now be arrested. Let's say you're wearing a hoodie or you're calling an Uber. They could just say you're a drug lookout and arrest you. Black family having a picnic? Arrested. Now they can just kill people in car chases. They were gonna do it before, but now it's legal. This one has nothing to do with public safety, but okay. Apparently they changed this one in the amendment. I don't know exactly what the amendment is, but they were saying that they could arrest someone if they cause someone fear based on their mask. And with the rampant Islamophobia, that one was fucked. Active duty officers do not need to tell you that they're officers, which is especially worrying because the new show your papers metro law means that any officer, even a plainclothes officer, can ask you for your name and address, and if you don't give it, you're arrested. Let's say you had a gun, you got chased, the cops are there. You put down your gun, that's also a crime now. Obviously they meant this as some sort of like person like throwing away a gun in a trash can so they weren't caught, but the language does mean that if someone just puts down their gun, that is a crime. But remember I said this was just about criminalizing poverty and criminalizing blackness? Let's look at how. DC has the highest Gini coefficient in the United States. That means it has the most inequality. Look here. White households have 81 times the wealth of black households. Highest rate of poverty is 22% in DC for black residents. This one's especially fucked up. Black people's life expectancy is 16 years less than every other racial and ethnic group. DC lawmakers know the strong relationship between poverty, inequality, and crime. But instead of addressing the poverty and inequality, they're just going to criminalize every consequence of that. And to make things worse, they're gonna do this. Cut SNAP. Cut domestic violence support. Cut homeless prevention and eviction support. Cut emergency rental assistance. Cut transitional support from shelter to housing programs. And cut U3 entry diversion programs. Every social safety net that the poor people in DC have is gonna be cut too. Fascism isn't on its way. It's here right now. They are literally building cop cities all around the country. And why are they doing it? Because they know we're mad and they know that we want change. And instead of giving us one little fucking morsel of change, they're just going to give police more and more power to criminalize poverty. Shame on Bowser, shame on DC, and shame on America.